and heading straight to Florida. <laughs> it's Trapper Jack in the Morning Show on Soft Rock 102.1 WDOK. Hey, good morning. Welcome to the day. Uh, Jeff Timmons of uh, 98 Degrees and Solo Fame will be joining us in just a bit here. It's five minutes after seven. The <laughs> economic cat went to what? Maslin High School? That's right, Maslin. Hey, a tiger. Maslin. Go Tigers. You are a tiger. You are a tiger. How'd they do? Did you play football? Sports? I did. I did play football. I played football in college, too. Very what small position? college. I played outside linebacker and defensive end, believe it or not. Hold it. It's very small college, obviously, for a small man. With very man. small players. With <laughs> small players like How me. much did you weigh in high school? In high school well, in high school, I w didn't weigh a lot. In college, I weighed about 200 pounds. I weighed about 50 pounds more than I weigh right now. Really? Sure. Wait, you weigh what now? Steroids work wonders, I can tell you. Where all did jokes, all jokes. the 50 pounds? Oh, man, it was, I think they were all my calves, maybe. Huh. <laughs> Wait, in high school, though, you weighed what? No, in high school, I weighed like a buck 15. Hmm. 115 pounds or something like that. No, I played defensive back. Yeah, I played defensive back in high school. You weighed 115 yeah. pounds? Yeah, I was a late bloomer. And you're it's playing still linebacker? Bloom. Yeah. Oh, Outside man. linebacker. They annihilated you, I, didn't they? Well, I, I went and played football at Malone College, which is in Canton, Ohio. Yeah, that's, I, a, that's I played, a football dynasty. I played, yeah, well, you know, it was the first year they had a football team, so yeah. I had a chance. <laughs> 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 we even had some girls on our team. Too. Oh, oh And some of the teachers and professors. Excellent. Yeah, whatever it took. Whatever it took. Unbelievable. Uh, you're going to be at Borders tonight, Westlake, is this yeah. correct? Yeah, 7 to 9, you're going to sing a couple songs and sign autographs, answer questions, whatever. Yeah, very good, uh, very good. As a matter of fact, uh, i tell you what, the first five people who call who want to go, we have tickets for you. 578-1021. Terrific. 578-1021, Borders, Westlake, will get you in over there. Plus, maybe you can read some books. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I used to read books to, to the fifth grade class in, in my grade school, so. Yeah, there you go. Now, you have a, uh, a CD out that has, uh, is, the, is the name, I, I know, Whisper That Way. That's correct. Is, is the hit tune. Yes. And the name of the CD is? Whisper That Way. Catchy That Way, isn't yes. it? Yes. It works mm -hmm. that way. There's it only works. one song on there. <laughs> <laughs> and, how's and, it, it. <laughs> and how's it doing? It's doing great. Yeah, I mean, uh, the single's doing really well. It's number 23 on the charts this week. It's working its way up. You guys Very have good. been kind enough to play it a lot here in, in Cleveland at DOK, and you know, I appreciate the support. It's a very, it's a great tune. It's a it's a very good tune. Otherwise, we wouldn't play it. Darn yeah, right. I know. I know. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and uh, we, last time you were here, you were talking about how how you found your way into the music career. Yeah, that's right. I stumbled State? upon. You were in Kent State. That's or right. Yeah. That's right. I told you guys that story last time. I was at a party uh, uh, with some some of my friends, and some girls asked us to sing, and then we started singing. And I thought, wow, this might be a good idea for a career. And I kind of quit school and. Migrated to the West to pursue oh, it and that whole thing. Parents were so proud they of you. They were. I they? called them up on the phone. I don't think they believed me. I said, no, look, I'm going to quit and go sing. And my dad was like, okay, <laughs> see you at the end of the semester. <laughs> There's money well spent by the folks. You know, <laughs> yeah. great. We sent them off to school. Yeah, so where, where do you currently live? I live in Southern California now. Oh, I've yeah. heard of that place. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. There. The nice seem, weather. You don't seem like the Southern California type. I'm not. I'm the Midwestern type, definitely. It's I mean, a different uh, country. That is a different country. It's a different lifestyle, and I love the weather out there. The people there are nice, but there's something to be said about the people of the Midwest. I, you know, it's de definitely a different kind of vibe. It's a much more friendly environment here. And, uh, I'd, I'd love to get back here someday. And you and, uh, is it because you're from this area that you and Jim Brickman tend to roam together? And uh, how, did, how did that come to be? I think so. You know, someone in the radio business put us together because they thought we had a similar work ethic. You know, Jim uh, is a very grassroots promoter for his own stuff, as you know. You guys mm -hmm. have had him on the show millions of times. And uh, just a nice down-to-earth guy. And, you know, he, we, we hit it off really well together. And, uh, you know, he asked me to be on his Christmas tour last year. I think I'm going to join him again this year on that as well. Very good. Very good. All right. We're going to listen to your tune, Whisper That Way in just a moment here. This is Soft Rock 102.1 WDOK. I want to mention the listen while you were giveaway. New grand prize, Villa Moda. $5,000 in furniture, a little furniture makeover. With another 500 bucks from Dillard's. Oh, yeah. Also, Lowe's Home Improvement Warehouse, a gift card for 500 bu bucks. This is huge. Very good. buy everything but the house. <laughs> the listen while you were giveaway times today. We're going to do 10, 1, and 3 with a bonus hour of 4. 10, 1, 3, bonus hour of 4. Uh, for all those chances, uh, enter online at WDOK.com. Soft Rock 102.1 WDOK with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes. Sunshine, we've got it. And a high today about 80 degrees. Here's Amy Davis. And that sunshine is causing us some delays on 40 East. Well, from the Jennings Freeway to the Valley View Bridge, it's sun glare slowing you down. Grab your shades. Inbound East Shoreway slow Lakeshore Boulevard to Martin Luther King. 90 East slow Columbia to Clay. Jennings Freeway North. Heavy from Harvard Denison to I-71 and 71 North Slows from the Metro Health Curve to the Interbell Bridge. Amy Davis, South Rock 102.1, Time Saver Traffic. Don't try this at home. You're already late for work. It's Trapper and Robin. Thanks for being on the air. Soft Rock 102.1, WDOK. Want your home to sell quickly?
Jeff Timmons, Whisper That Way on Soft Rock 102.1 WDOK. Come a little closer, babe. Give me your hand. Tell me things that only I can hear and understand. About the first time that I gave you a glance. Or how it feels inside to share an endless dance. Take me away I love when you whisper that way The special days will never fade All that I want is to stay When you whisper that way Sparkled in the moonlight when I touched your lips And let me tell you, when we made love I knew that instant you were sent from above Two point one WDOK. That's Jeff Timmons right there on the radio. There you go, Jeff. Thank you. Song. Thank you. What does that you. feel like having your song on the radio? It feels great, man. You know, it's, it feels amazing. I mean, like, I was I was just saying, you know, th th this this whole album is on my own label, really small label, and everything like that. So it's kind of a different uh, thing for me from when I was in ninety eight degrees. I'm pushing yeah. and promoting all this stuff myself. Doing your stuff. Doing a lot of grassroots. So I'm a feel. I'm a great. feel guy with songs. Yeah. So that felt really good. Thank what's, you. It, what's it about? Uh, well, it's actually about, you know, uh, a relationship and you're asking your loved one or whatever to recall the first time you met, the first time you kissed, made love, whatever. Yeah. You're not really listening to the words or the content of what she's saying, but the essence and what she's whispering it, the passion behind the way she's saying it. Hence the name Whisper That Way. So you want to go back to that, to what, to, to keep the fires burning. That's correct. And... Exactly. That's what? right. Reminiscence. Uh -huh. Nostalgia. Uh -huh. He was so happy listening to it, he started a mini mosh pit. I did. <laughs> yeah. He just jumped into my arms. I didn't know what he was doing. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, you can do? say that it was mosh pitting, but really it was just a, an affectionate move. <laughs> Whisper that way. It was a lovely moshing. Uh, who wrote that? I did. I wrote it with a friend of mine. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. And, and, and the inspiration was what? Yeah, my relationship, a uh, relationship that I was in at the time. At yeah. the time, it's at always the time. at the time. Yeah, at the time, you know. They, you know those, those. Uh, those Does she <clears throat> know it's about her? Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. She, there, there was, what is there she was, doing now? Uh, <laughs> 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 what? It's hard to say. It's hard to. She's, she's with whispering guy. to somebody else now. She's, probably. She's with another guy. <laughs> this guy wrote me a great song. <laughs> but I mean, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. You're with another guy. By the way, that song's about me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I Absolutely. broke his heart into fifty-seven pieces. It's <laughs> He's vapor now. That's a whole other song. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
All right. Uh, Whisper That Way, Jeff Timmons. Tonight, 7 o'clock at Borders. By the way, we still have some tickets left. You want to go to... Uh, how, how, long do you, how long do you play in something like this when you just kind of do a little I, mini I concert? I just do a couple of songs, two right. or three songs. Sign some I, CDs. I, yeah, and, sign CDs and just answer any questions. I hang out for a couple hours and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. And read yeah. a book. That's it. <laughs> While you're read there. A have, books. have a cup of coffee out there. A couple of Joe and some too. books. All right. Uh, stay, stay tuned. Jeff Timmons. More with Jeff Timmons on Soft Rock 102.1. WDOK. <laughs> WD, okay. Trapper Robin and Jim here. That's uh, Big Mountain. When did you sing with Big Mountain, uh, Jeff Timmons? Oh, Remember? man, I, I think that was back in maybe 94 <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, you sounded great with well, those we did that, were... that song was from a soundtrack. Yeah. So. You remember that movie? Oh, I can't remember. I was yeah. in that movie, Remember too. Remember the love scene and everything? Oh, <laughs> that was good. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, Jeff Timmons, from with 98 Degrees, and that was his own solo career, and uh, his single, Whisper That Way, which is doing very well, move, moving up the charts, and it's a long-distance dedication. Yeah. All right. All that. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Hey, thank you so much. Now on with the countdown. Reaching for the stars. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Are you ever afraid of being passed up with uh, with music trends? Oh, yeah. I mean, all the time. Uh, but, you know, I can't worry about that too much. You know, when I originally did this record, I took it to a lot of major labels. And the music trend had changed since I was in 98 Degrees a couple years back. And they Isn't that amazing? Me... It's that fast. Oh, it's fast. It's months. Yeah. A couple of months in music changes. But uh, the, 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 the record labels that I wanted to see kind of were pushing me to do a record like Justin Timberlake. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm definitely not him. You know, he's a good dancer and a different type of entertainer, and he sings a lot of different types of music. And I just wanted to write and, and produce my own music and do songs that I kind of uh, felt that, that meant something to me in my own life. And they were like, they passed on it, many of the majors. So I had to go and put this out on my own. And now, you know, now the late, now that the song's on the charts, all these majors are calling me. Oh, what do you want to do? Do you want, can we pick up your record? But, yeah, you know, the trend was definitely different. But, you know, I don't care about the trend. I just want to have my own music out there. You're, you're a nice guy, right? You look like a nice guy, right, Jeff? Uh, I try to be, yeah. Try to be a nice guy. Yeah. You're in a seedy business, are you not? It's, this business uh, for uh, a nice uh, guy is very tough. Isn't it, it's though? It's very isn't tough. Isn't it, it can slimy, be, seedy, ugly? It is, there are some definite, definite parts of the business that are very ugly and very slimy and very seedy. You know seedy. that John Tesh and all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he can be tough. <laughs> but he I mean, is I mean, a battle the axe, that guy. The, the, but <laughs> the people in this business, the behind-the-scenes people, I mean, it's just, it can be really ugly out you there. Gotta, you got to watch your back. I mean, even people that appear to be your friends and colleagues or people giving you good advice... Uh, maybe sometimes have a, a different agenda that, than you do and, uh, you know, are going to use you to get something uh, for their own gain. But, you know, if, you, if you're careful and you've learned a lot, probably by mishaps and mistakes you've made in your career like I have, uh, um, you know, kind of keep a, a well, watchful eye out for that kind of stuff. You or anybody else, it's like, what do you want to do? You want to sing, you want to put your songs on a record, a CD, and you want people to buy them, you want your stuff on the radio. I mean, that, those are the highs of it. You want to be in concert, right? Right. Those are the things I like. But what I like. The, what do the bad guys want? The bad guys want to uh, put you out, put your song on a Songs on a CD, sell the CD, and take all the money. <laughs> That's what they want to do. Right. You know, now, while you're happy to hear it on the radio, you're like, "Yeah, I'm on the radio," and then everybody else is making all the money off. Yeah, of that. which so, happens more often than we want to know. You it know? happens all the time. Man. You know, we've heard so many artists say that just that. Just sign your name on the dotted line. Yeah, we'll take care of all the finances for you. Mm -hmm. And well, it means all the. Finances. There's so much competition out there, and people are fighting for a chance to even get the opportunity. You know, sometimes they'll just sign anything without reading it just to mm -hmm. get that chance. Mm -hmm. Now, you you have your own label. What's it called? It's called Rising Phoenix, and I, I did a joint venture. I partnered up with a very small jazz label called SLG, mm -hmm. which is an independent label. So, uh, you know, they were the only people that really believed in the album uh, before we started charting and getting the song on the radio and all that stuff. Well, now that the big guys are after you with your hit song here, do you, do you think you'll sign with a big label, or are you just going to keep going with, and try and grow your label? Not now. I'm just going to try to grow mine. That's the whole purpose of the whole project anyways, is to do production and writing for other people, and I felt that this was the only route I could go go to get the attention of major labels, is put out my own you, stuff you and write it myself. you get to keep the money. You get to keep the money. I get to keep it, yeah. <laughs> you know, I get to keep it this time. Over, well, I get to split it this time. <laughs> you're, uh, you're doing some TV this week, too. You're over at uh, Channel 3 doing the Studio 3 11.30 a.m. show, correct? That, that's right, man. I love that show. I'm over there with Holly uh, Strano, and it, it's just a great uh, environment over there at WKYC, and NBC's awesome. Every time I come in town, they have me on the show, and I get to co-host, and I'm taking Fred's place this week. He's on vacation. So yeah, he's always on fun. vacation. He's out He's out uh, researching a book on uh, some uh, some herb. Uh, scallions. <laughs> uh, yeah. scallions. Scallions, scallions, scallions. I think he is on the book. scallion trip this time. You guys are right. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a real, like a real likable artist. You're a good guy, and we just wish uh, continued success for you, Jeff Timmons. Well, uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate the support you guys have given me. Whisper That Way is the song.
song, and uh, once again tonight at Borders, do a couple of songs, sign some CDs, That's and uh, this is this is your life, and you're doing just just a beautiful. Uh, I think it's a beautiful time in your life. Yeah, it you're is. Kind of discovering it. It's, you know? I'm rediscovering myself as an artist and just as a person in general, and I'm I'm having a good time. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate Thanks it. Jeff Simmons, Thanks, on guys. Talk right. 102.1 WDOK.